Hello, this is Steve again at HVACPartShop.com. Today we're going to go over installing a new control board on the furnace. The furnace we're working on today is a G50 by Lennox. Okay, so the problem we're having with this control board is that we're not putting power out to the blower motor during heat mode. So we're going to go ahead and get this board here replaced. Now if you look down here, there's a little data sticker. It gives you the old part number on this board which was a 97L4801. Now that board has been replaced with an 83M00. So we're going to go ahead and get that replaced with that new control. So let's go ahead and get started. When removing the board, we're not, we're not going to really take off any of the wires before I remove the board. I'm going to go ahead and remove it. We'll just pull the board aside. We'll mount the new control. Then I'll start pulling wires off the old control, putting them on the new control. Now you'll see over the board we have these little connectors that connect the board to it. They're basically, you just need to pinch them together. Uh, so if we just pinch them together and then pull out, the board will start to come off. Sometimes you may need a little pair of needle nose to get that to happen. But we'll just kind of pull those out and then we should be good to go. Okay, so the first thing we're going to install is the, the new back plate for the board. We got the old board out of the way. This back plate's going to go right where the old board was. Again, this back plate's going to give us support for the new board, since it's a little bit larger board. So basically, it's just going to go through these little standoffs that we got here, and it'll connect, and it'll be nice and solid. Now that we got the back plate installed, we can go ahead and get the control board and go ahead and mount it. So remember, we got the static proof bag that the board is in. We definitely want to make sure that we grind ourselves out, make sure we get rid of any static electricity that we may be carrying. So we do that, you can just touch any type of metal, kind of make sure you're discharged. Okay, so here's the board. We do have the standoffs already mounted to the board. You can see right here, 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 and here. That'll keep the board away from the back plate to keep anything here from shorting out against it. So we'll go ahead and turn the board around. This is the way it's going to be mounted is this way. And we're going to go ahead and get it, slide it up in here. We'll go ahead and get it mounted. Just take us a few seconds here to mount that. And then just give it a little snap in on each corner. Okay, so we got the new board mounted. You can see there's a big difference between the, the old board and the new board. New board's a little bit bigger. But let's go ahead and I'll tell you where we're going to get started. We're going to start here, work our way across. We're going to come down and then we should be good to go. I'll go ahead and go over the terminals with you real quick. This right here, this first terminal, is going to be our height or for our cooling speed. So that's where our cooling speed for our blower motor is going to hook up. This will be our heating speed for our blower. This is going to be our fan only. So if we don't have a demand for heating or cooling, we'll, and we just want the fan to circulate in the house, that's what this terminal here will be for. We'll go ahead and hook that speed up as well. Our next one over is going to be a park terminal. That's just a dummy terminal. That's where you hook up extra blower leads. Got another park terminal next to it. Same thing, it's just a dummy terminal. It's where you, if you have extra blower leads, you can hook them up there. Now the next one over is EAC. This terminal here is, EAC is basically electronic air cleaner. It's a constant 120 volts coming out of that. Next to that, we have XFMR. That's gonna be the power wire coming from the transformer. So that'll be our black lead. And then of course we'll have line. That's going to be coming from our door switch, our interlock switch. Um, and then we got hum on the end. That hum would be for like if we had a humidifier and we was using an external transformer for it. Right over here, this square red box over here is for all of our neutral wires to come on onto. We're going to have several neutrals on here. We're going to have the neutral coming from our transformer, which is here. We're going to have our neutral from our power, actual power wire coming in. And then that's where we're going to hook up all of our neutrals. 
So let's go ahead and get started with the change out. First thing we'll need to do is let's go ahead and start right here. So let's go ahead and grab the blower lead for cooling. So we'll pull it off the old board. The old board, it's going to be ACB cool. So from ABC cool on the old board to the new board, which is going to just be cool. We'll go ahead and get that connected. It's just a pull off connect. The next one we're going to do again, like I said, was uh, it's going to be ACB heat. Okay. This is going to be this brown lead. We'll go ahead and get it connected. Slide it on. Then our next terminal over was our fan. So we're going to use red as our fan. By the way, red is going to be low speed for that blower motor. It's going to be the lowest speed. So we'll go ahead and get that connected. Okay, so we got that there. Our next lead over is going to be our park terminal. In this case, we're only going to use one park terminal because we only have four leads on this that we need to. So let's go ahead and throw this in our park terminal because then we're not going to be using that speed and then that way it'll be up out of the way. Now, the next one over, uh, we're going to go ahead and skip this park terminal here. Let me get my pointer for you. We're going to go ahead and skip this park terminal here and we're going to come right on over to the EAC. We're going to skip that. We don't have an electronic air cleaner here. We're going to come right over to XFMR, which is going to be our black lead from our transformer, which is right here. So we'll pull it off the old board. Some of these connectors, you just kind of kind of grab them and wiggle them. And they'll come off of there for you. So let's go ahead and get it connected. We got that connected. The next thing over would be here, would be line. Line is going to be coming from our door switch, like I said earlier. So we'll grab our wire that we pulled off of our door switch. Kind of want to put these wires in there kind of neat to where it's not a bird's nest. So if they're all tangled up, go ahead and get them straightened out to where they're nice and neat. We'll go ahead and get that put on there. So that'll take care of that. And then our next one over is HUM, which is, stands for humidifier. We don't have a humidifier here that we're going to install, so we're just going to leave that blank. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and hook up all of our neutrals. Now on the old board, they had all of our neutrals right here. So let's go ahead, we'll just pull those off. It really doesn't matter what order we put them in. Like I say, we'll just grab it, kind of give it a little pull, untangle these wires a little bit to where it's nice and neat. And we'll go ahead and just slide them on. Go ahead and get this one pulled up. Some of these things can be kind of tied up time to time. So go ahead and get that slide in. And then our last neutral, we'll go ahead, get that pulled out, and untie and tangle it, and we'll go ahead and get it put on. So right now we got three neutrals on there. So that takes care of that. Before I get into the Molex connections, let's go ahead and get those Molex disconnected from there. Okay, so our next one that I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and skip. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I'm going to go ahead and skip down past the Molexes. We have this 24 volt only. We're just going to go ahead and leave that alone. It won't apply in this situation. But if you come down, you got to Terminal is marked FS. FS is going to be for flame sensor. Now your flame sensor on the old control is going to be kind of in the center of the board. We'll go ahead and take it off. Can't really get it mixed up because it's got a, a smaller spade terminal than all the other ones. So go ahead and get it put on on flame sensor. Now your wire on your flame sensor is going to be, have kind of a cloth coating on it. You'll be able to really tell the difference between the wires. So we'll go ahead and get it put on where it needs to be. So we're good there. So let's go ahead and we'll get started now with putting our new Molex connectors on. Our Molex connectors, so let's go ahead and get those out of the bag. So we'll go ahead and get these things pulled out. And then I'll bring them up for you to see. 
Okay, so let's start off with the four pin. You'll see that we have a four pin here. The other side is going to be a six pin. So we have a four pin and a six pin. These connectors can only go in one way, so you can't make a mistake and put them in the wrong way. You'll see that they got flat edges on, flat blades on either end of the Molex. Okay, so let's go ahead and just snap those in. Got that put in. Now we'll take our six pin that we had, that we had pulled off of the old board that was here. And like I said, you can't hook it up wrong. It won't let you. It won't even go in that way. So we got to turn it the right direction. It'll snap right together and we're good to go. We're all done with that one. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to hook up our 12 pin connector. Now on our 12 pin connector, I kind of wanted to show you this. On this side we have our 12 pin. On this side we have a 9 pin. This 9 pin is going to accept the harness that we pulled out of this old control. So it'll just slap in there, it'll just snap in there and it'll be nice and neat. But if you notice, we got three extra wires that are here on this. This one's going to be a grounding wire. This one's going to be going to the transformer. And this is going to be on the transformer. These are going to be both on the secondary side of the transformer. So we're going to go ahead and get these connected up. But let's go ahead and get the harness connected up first. So like I said, you can't, you only can connect it one way. It'll let, it won't accept it if it's not. You got these little snaps that'll make sure that your harness is in there nice and tight. And we'll go ahead and grab the other side of this nine pin. We'll go ahead and slide it together with this, this pin here. Oh, got it the wrong way. Here we go. Snaps right together. We're good to go. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get this board here out of the way. So let me go ahead and pull these off. And then we can discard that. Okay, so here we go. I know it's kind of a burden that's hard to see, but here's those three wires I was talking about. Now, let's go ahead and get started with the blue wire. The blue wire, where it's going to go, is it's going to go to our safety, which in this kit it comes with a new safety as well. So let me grab that for you. Okay, so here's our three amp safety fuse, basically a breaker. Uh, you can see it's three amp. So whenever you have a 24 volt short, this little rocker will flip down and open up and open up the switch to where it won't harm the board. Then once you figure out what the problem is, you can just push it and reset it and then you'll be good to go. The one we have here, you can see in the furnace, we've already have one here. Okay. It's still in pretty good shape. So I'm going to go ahead and Normally, I would change this out, but just for the video purposes, I'm going to go ahead and leave this one in. Okay, so what we want to do is we're going to want to... Let me get this off of there. Okay, so the blue wire that's coming off of this harness, what it's going to do, the blue wire, we're going to take it around and we're going to plug it right into this harness right here, or right into this safety. Okay, on the other side of the safety, we have our blue wire that's coming from our transformer. It'll plug into the other side of the safety. So basically what it's gonna be is kind of like an inline fuse for this control. So if there comes a problem with your 24 volts, you have a short or something, it'll go ahead and protect your board from any shorts. Now you also have a yellow wire that's coming off of the transformer. Okay. Now the yellow wire will plug in to this yellow wire that's coming off the harness. Now you'll notice on the end of that it has a, a melt plug in there and it, the one coming from the wire coming from the transformer has a female end. So those will just slide right together, plug in nice and easy. Okay, and then that'll be it. That's all done.
Now our green wire, this is gonna be our grounding wire. We need to ground it. A lot of times if you'll see right here on the side of these, of this cape where the, where the board is hanging, right here they have a few spade terminals built into the holder. We can just slide, uh, slide that right on there. That'll be our ground. So that takes care of that. So pretty much we got this board installed. The only thing left for us to do is to go in here and install our, this would be a ground wire that we're not using, so let's go ahead and get rid of it. Let's say you don't want to burge and that's when you're done. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that. Okay, so only thing really left for us to do is basically tidy up our wires a little bit, put them back, put our panel back on. But before we do that, we gotta go over our thermostats. Uh, put, hook up our thermostat wires. This is where our thermostat wires will go. Now you'll see right here on the bottom we have a Y. That's gonna be for our cooling, okay? We have W, that's gonna be for our heat demand. Uh, we have R, that's gonna be our 24 volt coming in. We have G, G is gonna be for fan, fan control. C, that's gonna be our 24 volt return, or our common Y. That pretty much does it for this control. It's installed and we're ready to go ahead and start it up. We got a working furnace again. Okay, so now that we got our control board installed, one last thing to do is to make sure we put our schematic on the back side of the blower door. If it's a sticker, you just peel it off, stick it there over the old one, and then we're good to go. Do have more videos to come. Until then, I'll see you the next time.